<laughs> oh, it was you recording. <laughs> now it is. Hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Bookish Ramblings. Today's video is going to be my March TBR. And I wasn't planning on doing one of these, but then I changed my mind. So here we are. Today, I thought it would be really fun if I had my brother Levi pick out my TBR, or at least part of it, because... Ages and ages ago, I saw Alicia do this with her sister. Um, I'll link her video down below. And I just thought it was so fun. And I think that was like a couple years ago. And I'm only just now doing it. So I decided maybe you could pick out five books. Because okay. I don't want to be like overwhelmed with like 20 books that I'll never read. So you'll pick out five books. So just look around. I know you like you don't keep up with my channel. So like you probably uh, don't. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I mean, I, I I like your videos. They're great and all, and I Thanks. click on them. And sometimes, sometimes I'll comment, but like, I don't. I don't know like what you'd be reading and what you're not reading. Exactly. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I wasn't like accusing you of anything. I was just stating a fact. I know he doesn't know like what I read or not, so he doesn't know most of these if I read them or not. So it might be a little bit hard for you. But just do your best. Some of these you'll probably recognize and you'll think yeah. that I probably read it. So just try not. I'm to... I'm looking for ones you haven't read. Do your best. I know some of these you won't know, okay. but some of them you will. So try not to pick I'm books. I'm going to purposely pick all the books you've already read like, no. recently. <laughs> no, because if you pick a bunch of books that I've already read before, I'm going to send you back in here to do it again. We're going to start this all <laughs> Because I'm not reading um, okay. a bunch of books I've already read. Um, I don't know. Should I stay in here with you or should I leave you oh. to your own devices um. to pick these up? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's up to you. I kind of want to be in here while you okay. decide. Or, what, or do you want me to just like hold the camera like and, and like surprise you? Yeah, maybe what we'll let it be do? a surprise. You want to be a surprise? Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. <laughs> Gonna be looking everywhere. Oh, 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 we got, we got a secret stash back here. What is this? Oh, oh. What's this? What's this in the very back? Jane Austen. Oh, no, that's a big book. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pick out that. That's too big. No, 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 no. I'm not that mean. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to be nice. It'd be funny if I just picked out like I should just pick out like random order books from the tribulation series or the left behind series so that she just gotta read them out of order. That would suck, bro. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not that mean. Alright, let me see, let me see. Should I though should I just like go through different series and just pick out like one book from each series? Dude, that nah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> oh, 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 what is this? I remember this. Nah, she got she got the Froggy Goes to Bed book. You know I'm picking that one out for sure. Bro, all the books are so big. This is gonna be terrible. Especially if it's one she just read. Are you on the other side of this wall listening? Oh, 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 I didn't see these. What is this? Is she she hiding some books back here. I bet you she took the biggest books and is hiding them right here. Oh goodness. I'm sorry, Celestia. This this video recording is gonna be so bad. I feel like it zoomed in too. How do I zoom out? Oh no. Oh no. That's not it. Oh well. Oh. Let me see. House of Dark Shadows. Sounds interesting. Oh, she behind the scary books back here. Um, yeah, sure. Looks scary. Looks good. Oh, what does that say? If you like creepy and mysterious, this is the house for you. This isn't a house. It's a book. No. I'm taking my time. I'm finding hidden books. I just found more hidden books. It's like a treasure trove. What is this? Look at this. We got, we got books behind books back here. Books behind books. Yeah, books, yeah, books. The giver. That also sounds scary. Oh. What in the world is this? It's got some old man on it. I like it. He looks like Gandalf. I love Gandalf. Gandalf is my spirit animal. Oh. Well, that's just sad. <laughs> what is this? Secret Keepers. That looks like a giant book. I'm not gonna give her that to read in a month. What we got up here? What we got? What we got? What we got? Amanda Caroline. Why is it just people's names as a book? Hattie. 
big sky. Oh, I thought that said Hattie's in the sky. Um, replication. That sounds interesting. Plant out of the way. That random left behind book. And then this. Oh, I think I remember when she read this. What was that? Mark of the Beast or something? No, I thought that was a time on a clock. That's just number. What does it say? C33? That looks cool. Are you trying to sneak in? I got four. Need one more. Let's see. What should the last one be? Oh, goodness. I found more hidden books in here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, these are the movies. These are the movies. But the thing is, I bet she, bro, she got coffee mugs in here. She got coffee mugs in the kitchen too. Why do you have coffee mugs in your room? What are these, like the seasonal mugs? I don't think that's, I don't think that's like a novel. Is it? I don't think so. Sorry, I'm terrible at video. But to be fair, I swear your your phone it's like zoomed in like a lot, even though it's fully zoomed out and still feels super zoomed in. I thought that said something about Lincoln. I thought that was President Lincoln. I don't know how I turned a four letter word into a entire president's name. On a snowy day. You know what? This looks like this this looks like a good mo uh I don't say movie book. Is this a novel? That dude on the bottom looks familiar. Kind of reminds me of my old grandpa. Papa Tim. Okay. I think I got them all. The videoing is probably not good because it, it seems zoomed in. But... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let's I see a nonfiction book. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, was it supposed to be fiction? <laughs> I didn't give you that stipulation, but like... Oh, you were hoping. Yeah, my, fault, really, my, fault. Like... <laughs> my fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. Oh, what even is that? I don't know. Um, I heard it was good. <laughs> so, You've never read it? No. Okay. Well, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Lee. Yeah. Well, no. Like, it's it's new. It's You didn't want to reread something. I found something you never even read before. So, yeah. This is a nonfiction, um, Christian living type book by Mark Batterson. Um, it's short, so I will try my best to read this. Yeah, I didn't pick you out any no books. Replication. I have read this before, but it's been a long time. And I was actually, it looks cool. I was thinking about reading it again. So yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. By Jill Williamson, it has to do with like clones and stuff, which is like really interesting to me. So The Giver, I have also read. Do you remember the movie? The Giver, yeah, with okay. Papa. Um, did you say Papa? Yeah. No. No. Not a shack. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's remember what the I was Giver? Thinking. We watched this. Um, um, no. Like last year, I think it's about the. The kid that lives in the world and everything's gray. It's like dystopian. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. what this is. Oh, okay, gotcha. So I have read this, so I don't know if I'll read this one again. Because <laughs> I read it twice, actually. Oh. Uh, uh, maybe. We'll see. So I really be picking up books for this. nothing. This is middle grade, I think, or like teen. It's reading a children's work. And I think it has to do with, I don't think it's scary. I think it has to do with, um, like, was it time travel? Or like they go really? in a, a door like a and they book. go to, to, I think, different times. Yeah. So, very interesting. interesting. It's a really long series, though. That's why I haven't started it yet. There's like a bunch mm. of books, but. Probably here, look <laughs> probably at this. Goes to this. <laughs> probably this was like my there, favorite yeah. book when I was a kid. One of my favorites. Um, my mom used to read this to me, and then uh, I used to read it to myself a lot. Uh, <laughs> I love this book. I'll definitely read this one because it's like five pages. So. Yeah. I was I was torn between that one and the the Giving Tree. Oh yeah, bro! I used to love the Giving Tree when I was. Little. I probably read that but, book like fifty times. But why though? It's so depressing. It is. It's like so sad. He like abandons. The it's tree just it's and just teaching. It's just teaching children how the world. is. And then okay. he only comes back to the tree when he needs something from them happy, until happy finally the tree has nothing real. left, and the man has nothing left, and then they just sit there and are sad together. <laughs> Before they die, it's so depressing. It's teaching you life lessons. Can we replace this book? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, wait, where did I get this one from? Uh, yeah, I don't know. 
Also, are you in here exposing my mess again? Yes. Who is this? It's like, uh... I don't know what it's Edmund this. from... Um, what's it called? Narnia? Yeah. He <laughs> does Alright, read that one. Okay, this one. Right, yeah. I've read this one like ten times. But oh, I will read oops. it again because... Dear America books, I can reread like over and over again. Books. You can basically read them in one sitting. Like, books are terrible. I remember when I had to read one for like school or something. They're not terrible. No. They teach you about history. I don't They're educational. They care about history. This is about the Transcontinental Railroad. Interesting. It is interesting. You should read it. No. Okay, I'll read this one. All right. Thanks. Is that all of them? You're welcome. Thanks so much, Levi. You're welcome. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye. I'll see you, see you in a tomorrow. few hours. <laughs> Now. <laughs> okay, so not exactly what I was hoping for. I have read three of these books already, but they're pretty easy reads, so it'll be fun. And then one of them is a nonfiction, so there's really only one of them that I'm actually looking forward to. <laughs> Other than that, I am planning on reading North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. Um, I'm going to be ready reading this with um, a friend and subscriber. So I'm very excited about this one. This is a chunky one. So I'm hoping it's going to be good and not boring. I'm hoping it's going to be similar to reading like a Jane Austen novel or something, you know, and I love those. So hopefully. And then there's two challenges. I have Chantel's read your bookshelf challenge the one the prompt for march was to read a book where the title starts with the next letter of the alphabet and it's supposed to be the next letter from the last book you read the previous month the only problem is that i didn't read a book for february's prompt so i don't have anything to go off of so i do still have a couple of days left in february and i'm reading a book right now i just started it last night that can work for the prompt i just don't know if i'm gonna finish it because i'm not really feeling it and then oshina's uh like christian romance reading challenge the prompt for march is to read a book in a series and pretty much anything can work for that. So I'm kind of thinking of reading the next book in the Lauren Holbrook series by Aaron Mangum because I haven't read the last two books in that series yet. And then there's like tons of other books that I could read for that. It just has to be Christian and it has to be have romance in it. And it has to be in a series. So there's a lot of options. So I don't really want to tie myself down to one. There's a lot of possibilities. So we'll just see how that goes and what I end up feeling like reading. Other than that, I really don't have any plans for March. I'm keeping it pretty open. I would like to try to read more of the books that I've bought recently. I have like some fantasy and sci-fi and suspense and stuff. So maybe I'll read a suspense book because I have a lot of those unread sitting on my shelves. Completely forgot Point of Danger by Irene Hannon is the book club pick for March. I knew I was forgetting something and that was the book I was forgetting. So that one's a Christian suspense book one in a trilogy. Um, I think it has to do with like some woman's being like stalked and like threatened and everything. So yeah. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this TBR video. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it, especially with that nonfiction. Let me know down in the comments what y'all are planning on reading. I'd love to hear all about it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.